was a successful reality show producer <laughs> on Survivor. Well, now his reality is surviving inside a violent Mexican prison. Bruce Beresford Redman is accused in the 2010 murder of his wife, Monica, during a vacation in Cancun. 48 Hours correspondent Troy Roberts started covering the story when it broke, and now he's got the first sit-down with Beresford Redman, who's made an extraordinary video diary inside prison. <laughs> My name is Bruce Beresford Redmond. What you will see is a glimpse into a uh, Mexican prison. I agreed to do these video diaries to give a sense of what life is like here in hell. It's like Bruce Beresford Redmond is starring in his own terrifying reality show. I'm accused of the murder of my wife, Monica. Monica's body was found in April 2010, naked, beaten, and suffocated at the Beresford Redmond's Cancun Hotel. He's been on trial for her murder for almost three years. I've been accused of a horrible, abhorrent crime, and I'm innocent. You did not kill Monica. I did not kill Monica. Mexican justice is a slow process, and Beresford Redmond remains locked in a pressure cooker of criminals and contraband. like to get tear gassed. Fires everywhere. It's, it's chaos. It's really, really chaos. Monica's sisters, Gianni and Carla Burgos, say Bruce Beresford Redman is exactly where he deserves to be. If he really killed my sister, which it looks like he did, I, I want him in jail. They're with people who have demonstrated poor impulse control, and a number of them may have mental problems. His cell is open to the elements, rain and relentless heat. The cell that I'm in is a very small cell. It's designed for three men, and there are 10 of us in here. Court is chaotic, too. Unpredictable witnesses, lost or contaminated physical evidence. In fact, an independent expert finds no physical evidence to implicate Beresford Redman. If I am convicted, I am facing a sentence of 30 years. Pat Fanning, a U.S. lawyer with experience in Mexican courts, says it's a strong circumstantial case. He had a girlfriend. The neighboring room heard them arguing. Justice for Monica! As Monica's sisters wait for justice, Beresford Redman is locked in limbo. Life is, is running through my fingers like water, and my kids are growing up. Hi, good morning. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, sweetheart? I love you guys. I miss you. Be strong, and, and all I want is for you guys to have the best life you can. Troy Roberts joins us now from Los Angeles. Troy, let's start with the children since we just saw them. Where are they? Who has custody of them? The children are with Bruce's parents uh, in Los Angeles. It's a challenge because they're elderly. Uh, Monica's sisters have regular visitation. Troy, how did you get such access inside that prison, and how is he able to record a diary? That's a, a good question. I wish I could tell you everything, but uh, we managed to give him a camera uh, a couple of months ago with the permission of the warden. And uh, we had tremendous access. Uh, we continued asking uh, the warden if we could go inside the prison. And after many years of begging, uh, he gave us that permission. Uh, is prison there much different than, say, prison in the United States? Uh, I have to tell you, Charlie, uh, imagine a small rundown village behind prison walls. Uh, during the daytime, the inmates can roam freely. They go about their day. They do chores. They clean. They work in the mechanic shop. They make hammocks. Uh, basically, they govern themselves. It's really like a Lord of the Flies. I remember that story. I can't wait to see your report. Thank you, Troy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You can watch Troy's full report, Prison Diary, Saturday night on a special 48 hours beginning at 8 o'clock, 7 central.